I have been taking a very long break from YouTube and other social media, and it's about time that I get started back in doing my Inspiration Wednesday videos and posting more regularly um, just with the holidays and family things and um, I found it hard to post and to paint and be creative and then when the new year turned over I kind of took my time and eased myself back into creativity. Sometimes it's difficult for me, especially uh, in the winter months, to find myself to be inspired and motivated. But today's Inspiration Wednesday, I wanna talk about covering over paintings and starting fresh. So this panel I have here, it's actually a wood panel um, that, a cradled wood panel, I've had for a very long time. It had a uh, some other kind of background on it before, I can't remember. And I think I even have, because I, I don't know if you can see this uh, texture here. I had some collage elements on it. And then I ended up making this other background, which I had posted on my Instagram with this green and this red. And then I had this idea to do this circle series, and I had planned to do this kind of off-white covering with scratching into the surface, but I am totally not liking it, and I had done a few others the same, and I just want to start over. So today's video is going to be about me starting to cover this painting up. I'm just going to show a couple other things I'm working on at the moment. Um, this is uh, an abstract I'm working on at the moment. This is actually a painting from a long time ago that I did. It was probably one of my very first kind of mixed media paintings. I had, um, or actually, I don't know if this is the one or if it was a different one, but there were two um, where I had collage elements and it was sort of um, scrapbook paper and some paint. And anyway, I decided to just scratch over it and start over again. And, um, this is where I'm at now with it. I'm just loving this texture here and these colors. I'm not sure if I'm done yet or if I still need to work on it. I need to sit with it a little bit. And then what I'm really excited about is this. So I had this big giant painting um, and maybe I'll do a video later of me working on this and show you the original, but it was just an abstract I made probably like five years ago, four or five years ago. And I've had it for a long time and I considered it finished. And, but I didn't really like the composition or, I don't know. I just, I really didn't like it. Um, so I decided that I wanted to, rather than buying a new bigger panel to work on, cause I wanted to start working big, bigger than I normally do, I would just cover this up. So yesterday I gessoed this, I added um, gesso, I added some raw umber, and I added some just plain white paint. And it's funny, I had used alcohol inks, and even though I sealed this painting with a varnish, um, the alcohol ink still bleeds through. So alcohol inks are very powerful. I probably should have sealed it uh, before I put final layers on, but Anyway, so I'm all about covering up. So I am going to um, switch the camera to a static shot and probably fast forward through me uh, painting over this. I think I'm going to start with some collage. This is just um, some deli paper that I have, um, you know, wiped my brush or my brayer on after using it. And I just totally love this. I love the way, I love the black with the, yellow ochre and the blue and I think I'll use that as my inspiration for covering this baby up. So I hope you'll enjoy this video and um, I hope that you would subscribe to my channel and I hope that you will be inspired this Wednesday to um, not be afraid to cover up something that you've done before. If, if you're not feeling it, if you're not liking it, if you don't like the way it looks or the colors or the composition, don't be afraid to just cover it up and start all, start all over again. Happy Wednesday.